Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are gonna do a little unboxing. I just got a package uh, of those sewing patterns that I order online. So we're gonna go through them and also I have my last package um, that I also ordered. So we're gonna go through what I've um, bought, the sewing patterns. And yeah, we'll um, take a look of all these amazing, beautiful patterns. So this first pattern is this Simplicity 1459. I already have this the same pattern but um, different size. This one is the bigger size. Um, yeah, so I've sized up since the last time I bought the pattern. <laughs> um, anyway, so this one is just very beautiful and elegant. I just really love this statement <coughs> neckline. Sorry, my baby was <laughs> sneezing. He's a two months old baby. Yay! So anyway, so I really like this neckline. Um, very statement, very cute, and of course, the pink version really caught my eye. But in my mind, I will be wanting to make it like white and blue stripe, um, like a sailor vibe. So, yeah, this is what I envision on this pattern. The next pattern is this Simplicity S9738. Of course, it's another 90s vintage dresses. I always love all the 90s style dresses. So this one and this one, they're both the, from the 90s. I just really love them. And I think for this one, the second picture on the website is actually a pink version of the dress. So um, it looks just like the Barbie. The Barbie dress is just very cute. I don't think I'm gonna make it like a pink Barbie dress though. I haven't designed yet, but of course I just want to get the patterns right now and we'll design later after I um, you know find a really cute fabric. I do think that the green would look really cute though. This third one has been on my shopping list forever. It's this simplicity. 8506. I just feel like this one is gonna be super super versatile and super useful. It just comes with all these sleeve patterns. So you know how sometimes when you get a dress pattern is maybe have no sleeve or you want to um, style it with other different kind of sleeve then this one would definitely come in handy. Look at how beautiful and use useful all these um I mean first of all all these sleeves are especially I really like the puff sleeve like the B C I think the fur one will be really cute as well look like this one um the style F so yeah I'm really excited to use this pattern this next pattern is the simplicity S9464 this is also a vintage dress um vintage dress pattern this is from the 40s, not from the 50s, but I just I still think that this is really cute. I especially like the style A, the front neckline is the heart neckline. I think it's really beautiful and elegant. And the puff sleeve. Um, if I do make these dresses, I don't really like the bottom though. Probably will make it like a full circle skirt um, instead of this pattern of skirt to make it look more like the 50s kind of dress. The next pattern is this Simplicity S8743. This is just for um, a skirt pattern. I just think that sometimes I will need something really simple, um, you know, to pair with like a, a top pattern. If I just get something like a top and then can pair them for top, and you know, to make them like a dress like that. Um, yeah, so I got that or I just simply like want to make one skirt. So yeah, just very something simple like this would be um, versatile and can pair it with many things. So this is a skirt pattern. So these are the most recent order, these five patterns. Um, so let's just go through my previous order. Um, those patterns that I got from my previous order here. This next pattern is the Macaw 7599. This one, when I open the pattern and look at the instruction and all this, the bottom part, this skirt part is actually a full cycle skirt. 
I just really love this idea because usually when I make a full skirt, circle skirt I just do my own calculation and you know cut the fabric and make it but this one it's just it's a full circle skirt very simple top um, very vintage looking very elegant but um, it's also modern um, you can see that it's size zipper I actually really adore size zipper uh, more than the back zipper I just try the side look more um, you know hidden so it doesn't come with like pocket but you know with size zipper or you can just like sew pocket on your own so yeah this is the Macau 7599 this next pattern the Butterwork B5731 I actually just got it for fun I don't think that I'll, add, I'll have planned to make it but who knows maybe someday I will want to make a gown and challenge myself this one is not on the easy or or you know it's not on the easy end so um but I just feel like I when I saw this pattern I want to add it to my collection um just totally in love with this kind of dress totally like vibe with princess um of Wales well um, her wedding dress so yeah let's talk about this pattern on the skirt part it looks like it's plated it's very beautiful and this um feet neckline and the back is the um isn't like the back is oh my gosh look at those design it's so elegant and the back with this button so yeah i just try um one day you know maybe i still have three more years until my 10 years wedding anniversary so maybe i'll want to challenge myself to make a dress or just keep it in my collection who knows um yeah this is definitely a very fun pattern to get this next pattern is the v1950 i really like this pattern i saw this sample um on the on instagram um uh, this sample dresses on instagram and um immediately feel like i need to get this pattern it's so beautiful i just adore how they make it in um all white um the dress is like so so good in the I mean have the structure really fly out and stay out like a little triangle back zipper and the front is um uh like a you know a coat but then you can see a princess seam here with buttons and a fabric belt very beautiful it comes with the belt here um pocket is have pocket so yeah it's a really um elegant dress uh, very modest and the midi lane is um, beautiful this V1950 this next pattern is the V1934 of course I saw these sample dresses on Instagram and I just was like this is like a Zimmerman dress this fabric and the whole design like putting it in this pattern is genius the blue one you can see is not as stand out as this fabric I just feel like this fabric really is like um, life changing thing for a pattern so whoever this, the designer to make this pattern I mean this version of dress is genius this is like a Zimmerman dress I just really like it this V1934 it come with pocket um, puff sleeve I do really like short sleeve um, for I do really like short sleeve but like long sleeve and shorter skirt is really cute too uh, or you can make a really long modest um, version of this pattern uh, the 1934 this last pattern from this order is the V1971 it's this beautiful cold um, jacket kind of pattern it's just very beautiful and on the website the difficulty is say easy so hopefully it's easy um, I just really love how it's fair out you know in like fast fashion industry it's basically impossible to buy a jacket like this so we'll have to make our own or we have to like pay a lot to get you know a very really luxury brand kind of jacket but you know if we can make our own then why not it's so beautiful it's like it flare out it's like really big you can um you know just make it like how they show it here or make it pink or white um yeah 
if I just fry with a skirt like this and then make a coat just walking around it's gonna be like ice eyes catching everyone is gonna turn and look back at this like beautiful jacket that you have it's very unique you're not gonna um be like everyone else that wearing like puffer coat or a trench coat it's gonna be like really stand out um but also very elegant with all these movements uh, when you're walking all this you know skirt part is gonna be moving and the neckline and all these four buttons style four or six so yeah it's just really beautiful so this one is not part of um this order right here this one i actually got it on um on ebay so this pattern is our stock or it's actually only pdf available on the website um but yeah, I got this, it's like very similar to this jacket. I actually got this um, because I forgot that I have this one. But anyway, this one is the McCall 7478. It's actually, um, it's also the same with all these um, fair kind of um, jacket, but the pocket is on the outside. So yeah, you can see the line here, the, the pocket outside, and then it's just, um, it just um, open out on the skirt part one big piece of fabric the neck they have two different necklines the one big one and also a smaller one it's really similar to the 197 one here but this one is coming with like four and um, a hidden pocket um, but this one is like one um, one line of buttons and pocket on the outside so yep right there is the, my jacket patterns this next pattern is this 9182 this is actually my first very easy pattern that i got i just read this one is very simple but very elegant and of course when fold it's like a promise um really really elegant and beautiful style and design this one is like with um kind of square neckline uh, with button so no zipper and then um the skirt part is a full cycle skirt so yeah it's very beautiful and simple i do feel like um somehow i would just want to show the sleeve on so maybe like using one of them or just leave it uh sleeveless like this I'm not sure yet so but when I make this I will definitely um, show you guys the results and the process of making this um, using this pattern wow after going through all this pattern that I bought I really do wish that I have the time and energy to sew so I just want to give you guys a little bit um live update right now so I know that I've disappeared for a couple of months on my youtube for my youtube channel um because I was pregnant and I got really sick and now the baby is born then I got very busy so um not much time to um, really just stare and just sew for a couple of hours I feel like I'll be, it'll be so nice to have a hotel that have like a sewing room, sewing equipment um, that I can just sit down and have no keys, no need to do all the cooking and cleaning and just to sew but yeah, I just want to talk about the project that I'm slowly working on right now is this McCall 8177 so I already cut out the, all the pieces, um, all the pieces of the patterns, but I still haven't decided if I want to make it like a long dress or a shorter dress or like make a midi dress. Uh, yeah. But so yeah, this is what I'm working on, um, and I am also filming the. Uh, so along with me as well so when this one is done then you guys will get to see it how i make it and um how the result come out i think it's really beautiful already um just look at the pattern the pockets but i don't think i want to sew pocket um, for this dress um i'm not sure yet um so yeah probably the shorter sleeve and then a fabric fabric belt i'm sorry um and then haven't designed the link so yeah this is what i am working on
right now. Okay, after talking about all this shopping and what I'm working on, I want to show you guys my um, most recent finished project. Um, I used this Mako M8181. Um, I think I used the top B and but without this to make this beautiful dress right here. So uh, you can see here the top part is from the pattern. So I actually filmed half of the sew along with me on this um, project but then um, just got busy and, and um, it was kind of difficult. Um, so I gave up the footage and just didn't end up using um, those videos to make a video for you guys. But I do feel like I will be using these patterns again sometime in the future and I will make a video when I use this pattern again and show you guys how um, to use this pattern. So this one, I need a lot of help with the borders. Um, it was just somehow like sewing them together, you know, the lining and and then um, and the front together, especially like this kind of corner. I remember needing a lot of help. So, but then other than that, it's actually a pretty straightforward and easy pattern to use. So this project, um, after sewing the top part, um, instead of like making this ruffle thing, I just like put a full, full circle skirt. So I make circle skirt before, but it was like a half circle or a three quarter circle. But this time is my first time making a full circle skirt because I just had enough fabric. Um, I think it was like a. 12 yard of fabric or something like that. It was gifted by my in-law. They um, it was so kind for them. I just really love them. It's made me like remind me of home. Like we're from. I mean, I used to live in Hawaii. My husband is from Hawaii. So it's like this beautiful pomeria and Thai biscuit and um, um, uh, what's that called? Pineapple. It's just really fun fabric to make a you know a aloha dress so um yeah the dress look like this and then um i just use this uh, pearl button i was like i've been searching for button for this dress for i know just go online and search for them but um i just don't know which one i wanted to use like this is already a really busy fabric a very fun you know aloha kind of um kind of uh, design and i wanted to use something low-key but then at the end i was like mm, it's kind of fun but then i also want this to be like a special um aloha dress for myself um and then i just have a whole bunch of this kind of pro button <laughs> so i just use them and you know i quite like the result it's kind of special um at the end when i saw all these um buttonholes i actually have like a very hard time because of my sewing machine machine like the thread was like coming out but i didn't know so you know i was like what is wrong so it was like very frustrated <laughs> to make this like i already did a testing before sewing it on the fabric and on like when i sew it on the fabric the thread came out and I didn't know and it was just it was a disaster. I was like, it's supposed to take like a couple seconds to make this um, you know, buttonhole but then it took me like half an hour to make one. So um yeah, just a little side side story of the of my um you know, this project. So yeah, this is my most recent project. I actually finished this project when I was still pregnant and then the next day I know it I already gave birth. So I finished this my last day of pregnancy of this dress. So special and yeah sometime this year we we'll want to visit Hawaii again and of course I will bring this with me and wear it in Hawaii. And I still have a lot of extra fabric left and need to make matching outfit for my baby and my toddler and my husband. Um, yeah, and of course, if I don't have any frustration on making those, I'll be filming so along with me and keep you guys updated and show you guys um, and show you guys all these projects. It'll be fun. 
so this is all for my video today with all these updates i know it's a lot <laughs> with all my shopping and what i worked um and what i am working on and all this it's really nice to be able to just sit here on the grass um bring my uh, picnic mat here just i have a little outing it's finally warm enough to do that um yeah i'm really excited for spring as you can tell i've been just working on spring dresses project they are like it's such it's like such a beautiful season it's like so it, I just I really love spring and spring summer kind of dresses. It's just easy to make. The fabric is really lightweight. Um, yeah, so very happy to be back here to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys stay here and uh, yeah, I will keep you guys updated, especially with this um this macaw pattern that I'm working on, and then you know I'll probably I'll probably be working on this one next. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching and have a good day and bye.